Mac, at least for a day. This is a multiplayer portal visit plus a base showcase. I'm here with my good friend and Spacing Guild member, King Vi the First. You there, King? Yeah, I'm here, my Kai. Great. So I'm going to put in his portal address, go to his planet, and then I'll be constructing a vehicle bay, and his base is pretty close to the portal, so I'll be traveling to his base, and we'll get to see his base as well. And his, his, your star system is like on the opposite side of the galaxy, right, um, King? Yep, that's right. It's northeast. It's almost directly opposite uh, TSG in the, in the hub. Cool. And about the same distance from the center. Okay, so we got the second glyph. Second glyph again. 9, 10, 11, 12. Third glyph. First. First again. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12 again. First glyph. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Fourth glyph. 16th glyph. And the fifth glyph. Hopefully that's right. I'm pretty sure I have all the ingredients for the vehicle in my exosuit inventory. Let me double check. Yep. I've got some plutonium, so I should be good. Now is your is your base um is your base pretty big? Or is it just it it's at the limit. <clears throat> oh wow. Cool. This will also be a good test to see if the base share system is working well. Um, before 1.3, there was a lot of times when you would visit someone's base and it wouldn't be updated. It would be like the way it was like weeks before they cha made changes to it or whatever. So hopefully, of course, you won't be able to see what I'm seeing, but mm -hmm. if, there's, if there's a glaring difference, you try to show me something and it's not there for me, then we'll know. Yeah, and I can always watch your video later, which will be really interesting to see if there are any differences. Yep. Yep, yeah, that too. So it looks like I'm here. Viking you are. system. You are. And... Are you here? I don't see yeah. you. Oh, God, I can see you, Mark. I'm right in front of you. Uh-oh. Okay, oh, there you well, are. Can you... Yeah, can you see cool. my beacon? Um, no, you can't see beacons on, oh, for your oh, base, sorry, no. for your base, you yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I see, yeah, I see the green one for your base, yeah, um, where'd you go now, <laughs> you keep, oh, there you are, right it's, so, you. it's so bright here, it's hard to see your orb, um, do you want to make the monolith here or at your base, at or the not base, monolith? I think would be nice, yeah, the monument, yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build the Exocraft Bay, and I'll, I'll also leave the message terminal at your base as well. So are you going to fly there or ride a vehicle? I'm on Nomad. Cool. So I'll, I'll arrive at my base about five minutes after you. <laughs> yeah. Well, you do you want to try racing just to see? Yeah, we might as well. I don't mind okay. losing. I'll let, you, I'll let you say when to go. Yeah, in fact, do you want to give me a head start and then you sure. can get... So I'm I'm going. Okay. I'm going now too. Don't worry about the storms here, by the way. They don't last long, and you don't uh, need to get indoors or anything. Yeah, this is a really pretty planet. It's kind of like flat. It a lot, yeah. It's kind of flat, but the flat savanna look That's is right. kind of nice. Exactly, and the snow-covered mountains. It's real nice. I was I was lucky. I found it in the Artemis uh, storyline and just decided to stay. Oh, cool. I like the the pond has lots of sand texture around it, like a beach. 
Are you having trouble finding all the species on this planet, or did you, or did you find them yeah. already? Yeah. No, I've only found 13 out of 16, so if yeah. you find one. Yeah, they still haven't fixed that glitch where planets with shallow bodies of water have aquatic creatures, but they usually don't spawn. Ah. Oh, right, that's probably what happened then. Yeah, so you may never find went, them. I just went through a pond. Yeah, so if you get super lucky, there'll be like a shark that's glitched with its head in the ground near a pond <laughs> but usually usually you'll never find all the aquatic species what time of day is it for you i mean in the, it's, in it's day LMS. it's day for me yeah in fact i'm riding straight into the sun are you um no i'm going towards your base uh, i guess the sun is is going down behind me or coming up i don't know okay it's the other way around for me I take it you're way ahead of me by now, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Let me look. <laughs> you're fi yeah, you're 50 seconds away from me. Are you joking? <laughs> can't, can't you see me? Do you see me? How far you are from me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, there you go. 50 seconds. Well, it's gonna you be must fun. have got the better model of... It's going to be fun when we have races on bases, see who can, like, you know, if a bunch of us do a race, like, four people at once or whatever. But yeah. Joe said he was getting a lot of lag problems when he tried building a, ba a race, so hopefully they'll yeah, fix that. I hope we can get more clients. We seem to be getting a lot of new members, but not a whole lot more clients that I want. I want the Spacing Guild members to be able to get, um, you know, points and rank ups and everything. Yeah, absolutely. So, like I said, I'm going to start requiring um, people that want to be a member that to first register as a client, and then they can join, and then they'll be a client for like a week or so, and we can visit visit their planet or whatever. And then eventually, yep. if they're members, I'll take them off the client list. Wow, this is a really nice uh, base. I'll, I'll wait till you get here to, to show me around it, but this is really nice looking. I like the, um, I like how you made the uh, star brambles into kind of like a hedge. Uh, oh, you saw that? Great. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's my favorite part, yeah. I like it. Because it's a, it's a pretty plain sort of a base. I'm not very artistic, but... Uh... So I tried to make it sort of uh, functional rather than pretty. Yeah, it's right. really neat though. Um, is is this platform supposed to be raised above the ground? Is that how it is for you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, okay, the landing good. pad. Yeah, I've just arrived by the way. Yep, I see it. And it's getting loads of lag. Well, let's make it a little laggier with the monument. Oh, can we... Can we make it where the signal booster is, please? Sure. Uh, I think it'll let us do it on the uh, base, the base property, hopefully. Well, if it doesn't, it doesn't. But if you jump up onto the landing pad, I'm here. It's meant to mimic a, a sort of a trading post. Yeah, I like it. And I'm stood on top of the signal booster now. Can you see the signal booster? Yep. Is this where you want to make the monument? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. Wait, do you want me to Thank get you. up on the signal booster too? Because it looks like... Oh, sorry. It it already made it, and it's 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 off the signal booster for me. It might... Uh, is it for you as well? No, it's, it's close enough. Okay. It's close enough. That's perfect. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, so the, the, the landing, as I say, is meant to be functional rather than pretty. Um... And some, I don't know about you, but I do get three uh, local traders coming in sometimes, so having three landing pads is good. 
Yep. They're probably landing on your screen, but I don't see anything since. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. In, no, I mean, there's, like no, I there's nobody here now. Well, you like I discovered when you visit someone's, when you visit a planet with a portal, it's locked down so that no ships land. So even if you did see something land, I wouldn't be able to see it because no, there are no ships on this planet for me. It's kind of an interesting way Hello Games was able to manipulate it so that you can't get a ship when you when you visit a planet. Yeah. So you want to show me around the base? Yeah, okay. So, so this you've is got obviously these the land. message modules. It says, welcome to Pusey Vale Trading Post and Farm. Yep. And, and then Spacing the Guild Center of Excellence. Nice. Ah, right. I've changed that now because that was... I was being a bit uh, presumptuous there, so oh. I actually changed that just to say part of the spacing guild. Can we help you? Oh, nice. Yeah, so yeah, it hasn't updated for me, I guess. Yeah. So that's the first difference we've noticed. Okay, so you that's, wanna... that's. Sorry, go ahead. No, I, I was just going to say you want to go ahead and show me. Yeah, just show me around. I'll I'll follow. Yep. So we go in the front door here into what is the trading post there's hardly any furniture in because i got to the limit and didn't have anything left so all we've got is a little desk on the right and the viking symbol of course mm -hmm. and on the left obviously the trade terminal yep and we go out, we go at the back and the idea is it's a sort of a space hotel and there's a couple of bedrooms again they're virtually empty of furniture if you want to look mm -hmm. in yeah, and I, I like this, the way this is set up. <laughs> you, d you just went straight through the door. You didn't open it. Well, if it's open... It, it, things that I do... You won't see things that I yeah, do. I know, so if I, I cause... Yeah. yeah. So if you yeah, open the door and I go through it, it'll look like I'm going through an open door. But if I go through it and you aren't near yeah. it, it looks like yeah. I'm going through a closed door. So we've just got a couple of rooms there, because I say I've reached the limit, and it's not a, the balcony's kind of nice when the sun comes around. And then the rest of the base is mostly biodomes, which I'm I'm going to reduce them once I've got enough money. But at the moment it's optimised, so you get three of all the most valuable products: the explosive, the living glass and the circuit board so you make about nearly 10 million every harvest wow yeah i might as, i might go ahead and make this a center of excellence if you're okay with that because you've I got a, you've to. got you've got loads of resources and as long as you keep them here um i could add it to the center of excellence list and people can visit especially since it's so close to the portal it's pretty perfect for it exactly i would love i would love that mac yeah, so I'm glad you like the style bulbs. I think they're real pretty, and uh, I, I'm a gardener anyway, and so I thought oh, I'll put some along there. So we've got the steps there, which I sort of kind of like. It just makes it look a bit more impressive. And if you go back towards the uh, buildings, you see a garage door? Mm-hmm. Uh, garage, you, no, I don't see a garage door. Or, do uh, you mean... Uh, right. I wasn't looking the so, right way. Now, normally, Nomad is kept in there. Mm. That's neat. So it, it's a dual-purpose staircase and garage. Or garage. Yeah, that's clever. It's like a cupboard under the stairs. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. I, didn't, I haven't done anything at all to the original, I call it the boiler room. Yeah. Which is the, the basic room that we all get. Yep. Uh, and that's about it. Cool. Yeah, I think I'm, now that I'm, now that we're doing this, I think I may change the description of Centers of Excellence that, um, uh, if, rather than us telling a player that they have to build a certain kind of base, um, a, a member can apply for their base to be um to be to be a center of excellence meaning um so if i or boomstick joe visit their base and we judge that it is 
um, useful for other players, like it has a lot of um, crops planted, or if it has um, a race that's really enjoyable, then um, then then we can approve them and it will be a center of excellence and they can start earning points for it. So I'm going to go ahead and improve your base to be a center of excellence and you'll get the 10 points and you'll start getting one point per week um, as long as you keep this base here. Does that sound good? Excellent. That sounds excellent. Thank you very much. I really appreciate Great. it. And, I, and I, I certainly intend to stay here. Yeah, and I think that'll work better than the way I thought of it because instead of us making them you know, fulfill all these specifications and make them be on a planet that they may not have wanted to be on. It'd be better if they just build their base and make it really useful, and then we'll make it a center of excellence. Yeah, useful was the, what I, was what I was thinking when I suggested it. Yeah. Yep. And I think this is quite useful. You can make money. You can make things. Um, and the planet is good. There's lots of natural resources you can get: zinc, iridium, plutonium. You know, all the usual stuff. There's loads of it. And it's, as you said, it's real near the portal, which makes it easy to get to. Great. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set a communication station right here off of your base property. Uh oh. Oh, pff, there it is. Box wasn't popping up. Um. do you see my exocraft there's one parked under the landing pad no um, no you never see another person's exocraft you only see your own otherwise uh, otherwise see, you could bo otherwise yeah. you could board their own exocraft but if you yeah. have exocraft yeah. bay I can call my own to it but anyway right. I'm gonna go I ahead could... and end the video so we don't lose any of the footage so thank you all for watching this portal visit and base showcase with King Vi the first and I'll catch you in the future.